It's YouTube Wednesday. Let's brush paint a mask. Texas right now is kind of in a state of emergency. It's about 40 degrees here in the shop. Power comes and goes. Right now I don't have water over here, um, but we, we do have power right now. And uh, lots of things and crazy things are going on in Texas. I'm gonna try and bust out a video here. Let's brush paint a mask. Okay, so this has been requested before. Um, and here I'm just going to paint a mask with only brushes, no airbrush involved on this. And I'm starting with a dry brush. Obviously it was based out in black first. And then I'm going in with whatever color I want, the darkest variety of color. And I'm getting most of that off of my brush on the table before I actually get up to the mask. So then when I run the brush over it, only a little bit comes off. I'm not completely, see how I still have blacks in there? That's what I want. I want to keep those dark depths. And then I've added white to that color and I'm hitting it again with an even lighter dry brush. So now I have the deep blue that I did at first and a lighter blue I did over top of that. And that's going to generate this character's skin tone. I've gone in, I've painted the gums and I have painted the uh, under eye bags and then I put a coat of color on the teeth. So now I'm doing something a little bit weird here. I just want to kind of section off the face. And I thought like a nice bloody ragged line would look good. And so that is what I did. Um, that is the first coat of that red. I'm putting another coat of that red on there. And I put a little bit more acrylic paint into that to get that brighter red right off the bat. The other red brightens up as it dries, but I wanted to see it right away. I'm doing another coat on the teeth, obviously, to get them where I want them. And I got a little bit of tooth color in between the two teeth. I just scraped it off there with a pin. So now I'm actually taping off in kind of in the middle of that area because I'm gonna actually sponge the face I want to show a bunch of different techniques here. So I'm going to sponge the face and uh, see how I have that tape ripped and jagged. I want that jagged edge when I sponge this guy. So and here I'm just putting on a little bit more tape to protect in case I go a little sponge crazy. No one wants to go sponge crazy. And see, that's just a regular uh, yellow sponge. And uh, I'm just going right over top of that tape. That tape is going to help me preserve the edge. And see how the sponge also leaves that nice black? And look at that nice ripped line where I've got white from the face. I mean, this could easily be a clown look. I'm going for more of a Junji Ito type of character look with this. Uh, who is a Japanese artist. If you don't know who he is, look him up. Amazing stuff. And I wasn't quite happy with the cleanness of that line. So I went in with black and I just highlighted that edge and made it look a little more jagged. And the sponge also took away my under eye bags, so I fixed it. A little more pop with that sponge and the heat gun. Now you could easily, you know, call a mask done here if you wanted to. Um, but I wanted to show a couple different things. And I'm going to get to show you guys glazing. And... Uh, some other fun stuff. This is Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. These are my Patreon sponsors. 20 seconds of sponsors, kids. It's a sponsor named Dance Party. Right here on the video. Can't see it, but I'm dancing. Thank you, patron supporters. Okay. Now, uh... This is that Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. And the High Gloss Varnish, A, it makes things look glossy. That's always good. And B, it also will act as a bit of a resist because I'm going to put, um, if I do like a rub out or something on the face, it'll keep it from sticking near as much as if I didn't have that layer on there. Because glossy things are harder to paint. They're harder to dry brush. Things don't want to stick to it. They want to beat up. And I'm actually using that to my advantage. 
And that is, again, that's just some red latex mask paint that I watered down with a little bit of that high gloss varnish in it, too, because I wanted to keep that uh, crisp gloss. And here I'm heat gunning it. And you can see I wiped it off of the one side of the face, uh, but I really saturated that side. So that side is stained. And then the other side, I just kind of let it drip. Um, I just want this weird grungy kind of bloody look and I love the way it's dripping off the teeth so again this is the Liquitex high gloss varnish and this is uh, the finished paint I like what happens with the teeth okay so this mask was just painted I just did brush work I showed a little bit of dry brush I showed a little bit of glazing I did kind of a rub out with the blood where I let the blood stain this side of the face but not stain this side so, this is the Masco. All right, and uh, this is the mask being worn. I'm a fan. Go, go make stuff.